Okay, so we have this <clears throat> next question. So a hollow plastic sphere is held below the surface of a freshwater lake by a cord anchored at the bottom of the lake. The sphere has a volume of 0 0.65 meter cube and the tension on the cord is 900 newtons. Now, the first uh, question is, calculate the buoyant force exerted by the water on the sphere. Okay, second, what is the mass of the sphere? And the third, the cord breaks and the sphere rises to the surface. When the sphere comes to rest, what fraction of its volume will be submerged? Now, medyo mahaba tong problem na to, but uh, may mga portions dito na madali, mayroon ding iba na kailangan nating maintindihan muna bago natin masol. Okay, the first one is we need to understand the problem. So, ano ba yung ibig sabihin? Itong sinasabi na dito na, a hollow plastic sphere, itong first sentence, okay? A hollow plastic sphere is held below the surface of a freshwater lake by a cord anchored at the bottom of the lake. So, if you think about this, we have this lake, okay? I-illustrate lang muna natin. So, illustrating. Okay. So, you have this lake. Okay. And below that lake, there is a hollow plastic sphere. Hollow meaning walang laman sa loob. May hangin. Okay. Or hangin. Okay. So, you have this sphere. Ano natin. So, you have this sphere. Okay. Isipin lang perfect sphere yan. Okay. Nasa ilalim siya ng uh, freshwater lake and it is held below the surface by a cord anchored at the bottom of the lake so may naka itong uh, sphere na to hollow sphere parang if you think of this parang siyang bola ng basketball so hollow sa loob or hangin yung nasa loob okay it is anchored by a cord so this is our cord anchored at the bottom of the lake so may nakahawak sa kanya na uh, tali okay at the bottom of the lake now, ito nung sphere natin has a volume of 0 0.65 cubic meters. Okay? And the tension that is holding our uh, sphere in place is 900 new newtons. So, 900 newtons yung tension. Now, the first question was, or is, calculate the buoyant force exerted by the water on the sphere. Now, sabi natin kanina, may questions dito na madali. Meron ding uh, uh, medyo kailangan natin i-process muna bago, bago natin ma-solve. So, in this case, for letter A, madali lang yung letter A. If you watch the previous video, meron tayong formula doon that the buoyant force is just actually equal to the density times the volume times the gravity. But this volume is the volume of water displaced. Okay? And the density is the density of our uh, fluid, which in this case is water. Now, yung volume displaced natin will be the space occupied by this sphere, which is the given, 0 0.65 meter cube. Density ng water, alam natin yan, this is a constant, and gravity, alam natin yan. So we can solve this directly by direct substitution. Yung problema lang dito, kapag nalimutan natin kung anong value ng density ng water, okay? So yan. <clears throat> so in this case, substituting, we have 1,000 kilogram per meter cube times the volume of water displaced, which is 0 0.65 cubic meters, times gravity na 9.8 meter per second squared. So we get <clears throat> this value, okay? 1,000 times 0.65 times 9.8. So, 6,370 okay? newtons, okay? So, this will be cancelled. So, may one kilogram meter per second squared is equivalent to the unit of newtons. So, you have this buoyant force. Now, by the way, saan sa drawing natin yung buoyant force? The buoyant force is the one acting. So, since itong sphere natin, is, this, this has a weight going down. So, meron niyang upward force. Okay? This is now our buoyant force, which is pushing our ball upwards, or pushing our hollow plastic sphere upward. Okay? So, since I na natin yung letter A, let's go to letter B. Okay? What is the mass of the sphere? Now, to solve for the mass of the sphere, yung iba dito, uh, this is a trick question actually. Minsan, isipin mo, pwede itong masolve. Ang galit lang na masolve nitong letter B. What is the mass of the sphere? Pwede pong gamitin dito, density. Okay? Dito ko na lang isulat para di, di masayang yung space natin dito. So, density ng, uh, tawag nito, ng water is equal to mass over volume. Now, I know the volume of my uh, sphere. I know the density of water. Ah, masasolve ko to, itong mass. Okay? But this is not how this problem should be solved. Now, bakit? So, you have to understand that the sphere, okay, meron pang ibang forces acting on the sphere, okay, yung water at yung rope, kaya hindi natin pwedeng i-direct substitution. So, ito, bawal tong gamitin. 
Okay, so in, on board exams, okay, posible kang makakita ng choice, uh, part of the choices na ganito yung answer. Okay? But the solution here is to create a free body diagram or an illustration of the forces acting on this particular sphere. So una, this is our sphere, the hollow sphere. We have tension. Okay? So pagputuli natin tong rope na to dito, there is actually a force going down. So this is the tension on the rope. Kanina, sinulat natin that the buoyant force is acting upwards. Okay? So we have our buoyant force acting upwards or pushing the hollow sphere upwards. Now, another thing is we have the, the weight of our sphere, which is also going down. Okay? So, since this is the illustration of forces acting on this particular body, so we can create our uh, equation. Okay? So the summation of forces along y is equal to zero, assuming going up is positive. Now, it's very important na we stick to our assumption on the direction. Okay? So, in this case, since buoyant force going up, so, nangyari dito, B for the buoyant force minus the tension on the rope minus the weight is equal to zero. Now, nasolve na natin kanina yung buoyant force. Ito. Given yung tension. Weight, alam natin that weight is mass times gravity. So, here, masasolve natin yung mass of the sphere. Okay? So, lipat natin to sa kabila, itong weight. So, magiging positive. So, B minus T is equal to weight. Alam natin that weight is mass times gravity. So, B minus T is equal to mass times gravity. Gusto natin masolve yung mass. Divide natin both sides by gravity. Mag-cancel yan. So, here, mass is now equal to B minus T over G. Okay? The buoyant force minus the tension on the rope divided by acceleration due to gravity. Now, substituting values the buoyant force is 6370 newtons minus the tension on the rope which is 900 newtons divided by 9.8 meter per second squared is equal to uh, the mass. Okay? Now, okay, 6370 minus 900. So this is 5470 newtons over 9.8 meter per second squared is equal to mass. Now, minsan yung iba, uh, di nila magets ano yung mass naging kilograms yung unit. So, in this case, uh, i-derive lang natin. So, newtons is actually a unit coming from the multiplication of mass and acceleration. So, kung, kung uh, i-explode natin or uh, i-separate natin yung units na bumubuo sa newton na unit, this is actually 5470 kilogram meter per second squared divided by 9.8 meter per second squared is equal to mass. So, in this case, makikita natin that this unit, yung meter per second squared, will be cancelled out. May iwan yung unit ng kilograms. Okay? So, that is the derivation of that. So, 5 for 70 divided by 9.8. This is 558.16. 0.16 kilograms. And this is our answer for letter B. Okay? Now, for letter C. Ako, naputol yung ating cord. Okay, ito daw naputol. The sphere rises to the surface. So, itong hollow sphere natin, since because of the buoyant force, so itutulak niya ito ngayon. Okay, baba, wala nang mag-hold sa kanya. May ilalim. So, nobody can bring the sphere down. Okay? Now, when the sphere comes to rest dun sa ibabaw, what fraction of its volume will be submerged? So, syempre, kung isipin natin kung meron tayong beach ball, okay? kung na nasa beach tayo, yung part ng ng bola na yun, pag itinapon natin sa tubig, may part yun na nasa submerged sa water. Okay? So, yun yung hinanap. What fraction of its volume? What fraction of this? Okay? Will be submerged in water. Now, to solve this problem, we have to illustrate again. Okay? So, this is the water. Now, yung bola natin is nandun na sa ibabaw. A fraction of the ball, volume of the ball, will be submerged in water. Okay? Now, this ball, okay, unlike kanina na may tatlong forces tayo acting on this particular ball, ngayon, dalawa na lang. We have the buoyant force and the weight of the ball going downwards. Okay? So, mangyari is, yung equation natin magbabago. Okay? Let's natin yan. So, the equation will now go like this. Okay? 
since summation forces along y is equal to zero, assuming going up is positive, okay? So we have buoyant force minus w is equal to zero, okay? Now, the buoyant force is the density of water times the volume displaced. Or in this case, itong volume displaced natin is actually the volume submerged in water, okay? Times the gravity minus the weight of our halosphere, okay? So yung weight nito will be just mass times gravity, okay? So in this case, the weight is equal to zero. So we, we know the density of water. This one, we know gravity. The weight, kung titingnan natin dito, okay? The weight of our uh, uh, ball is actually the mass times gravity. Okay, so masasolve din natin to. So here, nilipat natin to sa kabila. Itong weight. This is density ng water. Volume displaced. It's gravity. Ito naman, pulipat, is weight. Weight is mass times gravity. So density ng water. Volume displaced times gravity is equal to mass times gravity. Okay? If we divide gravity by both sides, to both sides, yan, mag-cancel yung gravity. Maiwan tayo ng density ng water times volume of water displaced is equal to the mass. Okay? So in this case, density ng water is 1,000 kilogram per meter cube. Yung hinahanap, volume displaced is equal to mass, which is uh, 558.16 kilograms. So dividing both sides by 1,000, makukuha natin yung volume of water displaced. Okay? So this is, so ito mag-cancel yan. So 558.16 divided by 1,000. This gives us 0 0.55816 okay? meter cube. Na ito, hindi pa ito yung final answer. Remember that, gusto nyo malaman, what fraction? Okay? What fraction? Okay? So ito yung fraction of water that is submerged in water. Okay? Or fraction of our ball that is submerged in water. So the fraction of the volume, okay? So the fraction of the volume, tawagin na lang natin, okay? FR, fraction of the FRV, is equal to the volume displaced divided by the total volume of the sphere. Okay? So 0 0.650 meter cube. So this will become 0 0.55816 meter cube over 0 0.650 meter cube. Then 0.65 so we will get the value okay, of 0 0.8587 8587 okay, or meaning 85.87% is submerged okay, in water. Oops, hindi na pala maklaro. So, i-move lang natin. One. So, that concludes our video. Thank you for watching. 